I want to talk to you about 12 ways you can grow your crowdfunding campaign. Now, the whole point about this is that you need to get the word out that you are crowdfunding. And that almost certainly means using online marketing, which means obviously using a lot of social media. So I'm going to show you 12 things that you can do that will hopefully get you more interest, uh, more people signing up to your email list and ultimately more people contributing to your campaign. So the first one is when you uh, get somebody to signing up, then you create a thank you page where you actually then ask them to share the news about your campaign to their communities. And you do that by putting um, social media buttons, which are all rigged up, so they press on the social media button and then they can write a comment or it can be pre-populated with a comment depending on how you set it up. And then that can go out to their communities and that will hopefully get you more interest. And I'm gonna look at some ways to actually make that more likely to happen. But that is the starting point. Two. The next thing you can do is you can actually make your registration page into a competition. You can encourage people to um, sign up there and they will get automatically entered into some sort of competition and win something, maybe one of your products that you're trying to campaign for. But by doing that, you are encouraging them to sign up and they potentially get something for it. But it's not gonna cost you a vast amount because all you're really offering them is one or two uh, competition prizes, but they do get entered into this uh, random draw competition. And that's more likely to make them to want to actually sign up and learn more about your campaign. Three. Now, you can take this a step further by offering them an extra bonus. And that could be something like an ebook uh, or indeed some sort of video course or something that they get access to once they've signed up. And you give them that either through their, the, the thank you page where they then get a link, or once you've got them on the email list, you can send them a follow-up email and the link or indeed the whole ebook, whatever it is, can be in that email. So you give them an extra incentive to want to join your mailing list. Now let's take this a step further. If you want to get the word out to uh, your general community, people who are organically arriving on your website, then you can actually have a pop-up that comes up on your website and say, you know, we are crowdfunding, sign up to find out more or join us or whatever messages you want to give them. But the pop-up comes up and uh, if they're sufficiently interested in your website, they may well be interested in finding out more about your crowdfunding campaign. And therefore there's a probability or at least a possibility that they will uh, put their email address and their name into that pop-up and join your list. Five. Okay, so let's keep on talking about the benefits of social sharing. You can offer people some sort of reward just for sharing and again, this could be something like um, a, uh, an email, uh, an ebook, or some sort of follow-up email or something. But um, you need to make sure that you can hook this up so that uh, when people do share, then they're going to be able to come and tell you that they've shared and then you give them their reward. Um, this is slightly more difficult to automate, um, but nonetheless, you should think about incentivizing people to tell their communities about your campaign. There's a lovely little uh, app which you can download uh, very easily. In fact, you don't download it, you actually sign up to it and then you basically set your little tweet up and it's called Click to Tweet. And basically what it means is in the middle of your text, wherever you want to put it, you um, can basically enable people to click on that text and then they, that, that, that takes them to their Twitter account with that text in it and enables them to share that text with your uh, with their audience and therefore share the word about your campaign and of course you can put a link in that as well so that they come back to your campaign page and that helps you to get the word out to their communities it's called click to tweet if you want to know more about it just google click to tweet and it's very very simple to use Seven. 
Number seven is actually having a competition for the people who do the most shares. Now there are um, there are little websites out there that help you to do this and you can sign up to them. If you just Google competition for shares, that will help you to find them. But the idea is a very simple one that you actually turn the whole sharing exercise into a competition and the person who does the most shares gets a prize and people love prizes. So keep on thinking about how you can make this gamified, how you can make it engaging and fun for the people who come to your website to actually join in sharing the news about your crowdfunding campaign. Eight. This is one that takes a little bit more work, but it's certainly worthwhile. And it's blog or influencer outreach. And this means finding blogs in your space or influencers in your space who have a blog or who have a Twitter account or something like that who can share the word with them. And this means you need to go and find them. You need to get onto their blogs. You need to make a few comments. And then ultimately you need to email or message them saying, really love your blog, really love your content. I think your audience will love this. Would you be prepared to um, maybe write about it or share it in your Twitter feed or whatever to tell your community about our crowdfunding campaign? So definitely uh, spend some time thinking about how you can make that work for you. Nine. Here we are, number nine. Bitly is a URL shortener. It's a link shortener. Now, this has two benefits. It obviously makes your URL much more easy to share because you haven't got something which is about three feet long. But much more importantly, if you use Bitly or similar um, URL shorteners, it enables you to get some uh, analytics back on how many times it's been clicked on, etc. And this helps you to track where your traffic has come from and you know how often people are responding to it. And those sorts of analytics can be very useful when you're trying to see how effective your campaign is. Ten. There's a website called Angel List. I think it's angellist.co. And there are lots of people on there who are angels. Now, you've got to be quite careful about how you do this, but it's definitely worth building over time your connections with angels, particularly in the sort of geographic area or in areas uh, of sectors that you're particularly uh, interested in. And ultimately then being able to share news of your campaign with them. And uh, these are people who are on there because they like investing in early stage businesses. So it's a ready-made audience. So the challenge for you is how can you uh, capitalize on angel list to get the word out about your crowdfunding campaign and of course what you really want to do is to encourage these people to tell their friends about it because the chances are they are going to have lots of angels in their network too 11 let's just drive home the point everything you do anywhere you do it online you should make it shareable if you put a youtube video up then make sure you share the news of the YouTube video and also make sure you put a link in the um, uh, in the description right at the top so people can come back to your, uh, your uh, pitch page or to your um, landing page or whatever it is. You can do the same in Google+, Plus. you can do the same in Twitter, you should do the same in Facebook, on pages and in groups, not on your own timeline. Um, but make sure you give every opportunity for people to find your campaign whenever you're doing anything online. There should always be a call to action. There should always be a link taking people back to where you want to take them. And in the early stages before you launch, that should be your landing page. And after you've launched, that should be your pitch page itself. 12. So here's number 12, and that is all about engaging with communities. Go out into social media and find communities which are relevant to your product and start to engage with them. Don't just arrive and hit them with lots of offers and links to your, your site. That'll get you switched off so fast you, you, know, you won't know what's hit you. But spend some time commenting in there, getting known in there, and eventually then you know, approaching them and saying, you know, we're doing this crowdfunding and you know, maybe people you know, want to go and have a look at it or whatever. But be pretty low key with it. Um, but, uh, and, and of course, look at the rules of each individual community. But you've got Google+, Plus, you've got Reddit, there are chat rooms around the place, you've got LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups. There's masses of places where you can find people who are online interested in your product, in your topic, in your subject, in your sector. So go out there and find them and start engaging with them. Bonus. 
Yes, it's not that I can't count to 12, it's that I wanted to give you a bonus piece of advice. And it's the old adage, if you ask for money, you get advice. If you ask for advice, you get money. So go out there and don't ask for money straight up. Ask for feedback and ask for advice. And go to people and, and encourage them to come back to you with their thoughts and ideas. And by engaging with them like that, you will hopefully convert some of them your campaign and if you do that they may well join in and contribute to it so there you go there are 12 ways and a bonus to grow your crowdfunding campaign i hope this has given you some inspiration to go out there and really utilize online social media to get the word out about your crowdfunding campaign to make sure that it is going to be successful